Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and I'm going to show you some of the uh, stock buys I've got to go down the shop at the, this week. Uh, before we start, um, as you can see I've had a bit of a trim and a haircut. It was long overdue. Uh, my beard went from out there to nice and uh, neat. So hopefully uh, you all approve. Anyway. And get started. First piece I bought here is a tea set. Now I'm not huge on tea sets, they don't excite me. Um, however, my buying has to change now to sit in with what the public want in the shop. Um, believe it or not, lots of ladies are coming in the shop saying, Have you any pretty tea sets? So I haven't decided yet how I'm going to do this. I may sell the cups and saucers and tea plate individually as trios, sell the teapot, the cream and sugar as another set and the other plates separately, maximising the profit so I can then charge £12 a piece and maybe £20 for the um, set. Anyway. The set is all by Coalport and it is Ming Rose. It's a lovely uh, set, very pretty. It's all fully stamped up. Let me just get in there a second, give you a little look see. That's the set and it's all by Coalport. So it's English Fine Bone China. Um, it's transfer printed guys, but it is a very pretty set. So basically, I'm going to go in the shop, 10 or 12 pound for that trio. 10 or 12, 10 or 12, you know what I mean. So there's 60 pound potentially on the cups and saucers, 20 pound on the teapot and the rest of the set, and then maybe a 10 each on the big plate, sandwich plates. So I can really maximize the profit here on this set. Now the fact is by Coalport, I can give it a really good written description and they'll buy it because it's pretty. And you never know, I may find whoever buys the first one may end up buying the full service as I put it out piece by piece. They might come back each week and see, oh, there's another one, I'll have that, there's another one, I'll have that. And then they'll think, well, I've had four, I'll try and get the rest of the set. So I may end up selling it all to the same person in the end anyway, but it'll go out individually, I think. I tried putting the Shelley tea service out in the shop. 49 pieces of Shelley porcelain from the 20s really nice it was the plain white but it had all the beautiful fluted part and everything really nice piece i put it on 95 pound you know a less than two pound a hit for shelly porcelain guys didn't have an offer didn't have a bid so i've split it up now i'm selling the cups and saucers for 12 the toast rack for like 25 that type of thing so i split it up i'm going to end up getting about two and a half hundred pound for it it's just going to take a long time to sell individually It'll be the same for this. I'm going to end up with a good £100 for this, whereas I could sell it as one job lot for 30 quid, but maximise my profit. I'm not going nowhere. I'm down the shop. And this is a pretty set. So, that's that done out of the way. We come to three really interesting pieces now, guys. What's this one? Right, first one we have... Now, you know I'm not big on plates. Why? Because they either stand up and you can't put nothing in front of them because you can't see it. Or they lie down and take up a full bloody shelf. So I'm not keen on plates unless there's something decent. However, what we have here is a mid-century, so around 1950s I would think. Pottery plate by Lord Nelson Pottery. It's a Staffordshire company. And we have a transfer design of Price's Candles which will not drop grease when carried. Price, one shilling. Now, I love advertising. Anything to do with advertising, I love. Um, so that's a really interesting bit of advertising there, and believe it or not, I'm gonna check online to see what they pull in. I hope nobody's online stupid just selling a four and five pound, because I haven't looked yet. But I see the plate at 20 to 30 pound. Unless somebody is selling them for peanuts online, then that's the type of money I'll achieve. 
But if there's a lot of them out there and people are getting three or four quid from them, then I ain't gonna get a lot, maybe a tenner. But that's the way it works. eBay's got its upsides and its downsides. But I can tell you now, an advertising plate like that a while back would have been 30, 40 pounds, no problem. But a bit of work and I'll see what I get. I haven't told you prices that I've paid, have I? I'm sorry. The entire tea service was six pounds. The advertising plate here was a fiver. The next two plates I'm about to show you are again six pound each. But they're quite something. I'm gonna start with this. Imari colours, amazing rich gilding, gold gilding. There we go, there's the plate guys. It is quite spectacular. I love the green and the gold together. Um, now it's early 20th century, it's stamped Spode, Copeland, England. So you're talking it's about 1900 in date. But you know what's even better than that? This magnificent plate was retailed in Tiffany & Co, New York. Let me just show you the stamps. There's the stamps guys. So the top one you have the Spode Copeland mark and underneath that you have the Tiffany & Co New York mark. Beautiful plate. Now for £6 that's a corker. That's a nice bit of porcelain. Um, that's a £45 plate, no problem at all guys. That's what you call a cabinet plate. It's never been out of a cabinet, it's beautiful this display. The enamels are bright, the gilding's perfect. And it's got the two good names, Copeland Spode and Tiffany & Co. I'll give that one hell of a write up and I'll sit in the cabinet and look really proud. And if it doesn't sell in a month or two, it'll transfer to my website for probably 55 or 65 pound and just sit there until it sells. Love that plate, really nice. Next guys, <laughs> we have a Chinese design, porcelain again. There's the ring. Um, hand painted, hand gilded. A lot of work gone into this, guys. Again, for Tiffany & Co. The pattern is Audubon. Audubon. And the maker is Limoges of France. Limoges. Beautiful plate. Mickey Ball of hand. Really quite something, guys. Hand painted, and there's the mark. So you got the Limoges mark, you've got the pattern, Audubon, and Tiffany & Co. They've even, in the mark, got the picture of the pattern as well as the name. They've repeated the pattern off the front, under the name on the back. That's a sign of good quality, guys. Seriously. This is online with this one. Another 45, 55 pound plate, in my opinion, no problem at all. Hand painted Limoges for Tiffany. Do you know, plates don't get much better than that, guys. I've got a load of stock uh, at the side here to show you, but that's going to be in another film. I'm going to split them up into a few films. Tell you what I will do, because there's only the three pieces, is it? Four pieces here. I'm going to show you one final piece, and then I'll wrap this film up. Just talk to you about advertising. See these? Get them off your plates as soon as you can and chuck them in the bin. They damage the plates. Too much pressure pulling on the rims of the plates all the time. Just spoke to you about advertising. Well, I have a rare piece of advertising. What I have here, and I'll show you in just a second, is Edward VII, King and Emperor, uh, June 26th, 1902. Long may you reign. Um, but we have a picture of King Edward. But what we have that's rare is this piece is advertising Frisbee's boots are the best with Frisbee's compliments. Now for them to put that on this plate, they would have had to have had permission of the royal family. 
you couldn't put the you were advert on a royal plate. So unless somebody's added that on at a later date, which looking at the um, right in doesn't look like to me, it looks period and contemporary, then they would have had permission to advertise. Now, it's a period plate, early 20th century. You don't see advertising on royal commemorative pieces. It's very rare, very unusual. Hang on guys. Hello? Hello? Hello Shannon, how are you babe? Okay, baby, I'll meet you there. I'll meet you at the school then, darling. Okay. Love you, bye. bye. My uh, daughter went on a school trip today to London. She left 6 o'clock this morning. She's been to the Tower of London, see the Crown Jewels, uh, London Bridge, everything. And I got to pick her up now, quarter past 11. That's who was just falling in there. So as you can imagine, between getting up at past five this morning to make sure she was in school and waking up this evening to pick it up and doing work all day, I am exhausted. Anyway, back to this. Really nice plate again. Um, I'm pretty confident the writing's contemporary. I'm gonna do a bit of research into it, but to be totally honest with you, that's a rare one for advertising collectors or for royal memorabilia collectors because you just don't get the royals supporting advertisement or well, very rare anyway I've got a lot of royal commemorative stuff to show you over the next few days I've had some seriously fine pieces of commemorative basically I've cleared the um, the antique dealer I know I've cleared his house of all his royal commemorative or should I say, he had a royal room. Uh, he had a Chinese room, an oriental room, a royal room, and so forth. And I've slowly been emptying the rooms as we're going along. I emptied his oriental room and I've had some exquisite pieces of Chinese works of art. We're now on to the royal room and I'm having pieces by Shirley. I'm having Victorian pieces, Queen Victoria. I got, uh, I got enamel pieces from 1902 in mint condition that look like they were made yesterday. Now enamel is quite rare and hard, you know, doesn't survive very well anyway. So yeah, I've got some beautiful pieces to show you. Um, this was out of his royal room. And that's a quality plate. So, there we have it guys. I'll leave it there. Some interesting pieces. Um, some really nice bits to go down the shop. These will go down the shop now. Them plates are going to go down the shop. I can't wait to get those plates down the shop. I'm going to ask proper money in the shop for them. And if they don't go, I don't care. They'll come back home and they'll be sold online. So, I'll leave it there. Hopefully you've enjoyed. I'm looking at a couple of little bits of these stock. If you have, I would appreciate the like and the share, guys. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and let, leave a comment. Let me know you've subscribed and I'll give you a thumbs up. You'll find me on Facebook, I have a page on the group Antiques Arena. You'll find me on eBay, Antiques Arena Clearance. You'll have to search by seller, Antiques Arena Clearance. I have my own website, antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com. Or you can find me in the shop, 78 Mountain Ash, no, let me start again. 78 Oxford Street, Mountain Ash, Charlie Foxtrot, 45, 3 Hotel, Bravo. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.